I wonder, when is it time to get a manager? And what is a manager doing for mixing engineers? Is it a possibility to reach out to the bigger bands and get new challenges? Are there managers that are looking for mixing engineers and who can help bring you to mix off competitions and stuff? I can't remember when I got my first manager in America. I believe it was very late 90s, early 2000s. And the first guy that managed me was Gary Gunton. And Gary also managed Dave Jordan, Brian Kallstrom, and Mark Endert. Three guys that I really, really admired. And when he started working with me, it was really, really fantastic. I had already was working with Dave Jordan and Brian Kallstrom. And then I got to meet Mark Endert. And I remember one of the first big records I got involved in in America was the phrase first record. And I recommended Mark for the job. And Mark mixed that album and the rest is history. He did an amazing job on the mix and the album did exceptionally well. So it was a big deal me getting that manager. But I don't know if managers are necessarily getting me the work or getting anybody the work, but they are definitely really good at building relationships. I still have to get the work to a certain extent. What I mean is my manager, who is amazing, will connect with me with people, but they don't just hand you a gig and say, here's an album to mix. You know, there was a time maybe when the people were banging down the doors looking for anybody of a high quality to be available. But those days are long gone for anybody, even the biggest names that you can think of. Andrew Shep said a couple of years ago, he was only working three months a year on major label projects. So in between that, he was doing independent work or doing work on passion project projects, things that he really loved. And I think that's pretty typical of most mixers, producers, and engineers. I do, well, over the last year or two, we've done three Rick Springfield albums, a couple of Ace Freely albums, worked with a bunch of independent artists. Uh, we have one artist we're working at the moment who's phenomenal, who we've been developing and doing great work. And in between that, we're doing tons and tons of indie projects. That's really our business now. It's all about working on independent stuff and la major label and bigger artists slotted in between. There's very few people, probably Serban, Spike, you know, that are working solidly. I think Mark Endert's working solidly on pop from all over the world, but that's, there's a handful of people who are working solidly in their genre. Most are moving in and out of doing different projects of different levels. The, the days of major label work for everybody has gone and, and that's okay. I like getting in the trenches and really, you know, creating work. Interacting with artists, listening to demos, listening to mixes, listening to, you know, roughs of acoustic guitar vocal songs. I, I, yesterday I was listening to three or four songs from an artist that I'm about to work with um, that were very basic demos. To me, it's really important to understand that this is a different world. A manager, a great manager like I have, Bennett Kaufman and Mike Carto, uh, who works with him is a, a both absolutely phenomenal people. They are able to direct resources. They're able to help out doing contracts, give great advice, and also introduce me to people when I need to be introduced. But any manager, it doesn't matter who it is, is not fielding thousands and thousands of gigs and then deciding who to give them to. It's a very, very different world, and that is okay. A great manager will guide you in a way that is just unbelievable. And they're worth their weight in gold. They really are. There's lots of really good managers out there, but it's probably difficult if you don't have much going on for them to figure out how to bring you to the fold. You do need to generate and create not only your own business, but generate and create your own buzz. You know, do something great. Find an independent band, work with them, and make some great music with them. Then take it to a manager and say, can you help me shop this for a record deal? That will get you a manager, and that will get your band a record deal, and that will put you on the map. Really, developing artists is a huge way to get your career going. The old way of going to assist at a studio, then become the engineer, then become the producer, is shrunk down to a handful of people. Most of the guys and girls I know that are successful at the moment did it the way I did it. 
which is to find artists, develop them, and get them signed. So do that. And then start contacting the best managers in the business and send them music and send them an email, send them an MP3 or two and say, here's a band, here's an artist I've worked with. This is something I've developed. Let me know what you think. Do you think you'd be able to help me get a record deal for the artist? Do that. Do the same thing with large lawyers, you know, get, get the wheels going, but make sure it's good. Don't waste your time and energy just sending some generic band that's okay. Get involved with something, make it amazing, put your heart and your soul in there and do everything you possibly can to elevate it and bring it to the next level. And as they grow, your reputation will grow with them and your career will grow with them. I have developed and got numerous amounts of artists signed and some of them you know quite well. So that is what I 100% suggest that you do. A manager will come when you need it and when you have something enough going on that they can help you and help elevate you. Like I say, the best managers, and I'm lucky to have a great one, did that, but I already had a lot of career stuff going that they were able to help develop. And I think it's all part and parcel of it, really having a very, very successful relationship with people. And they will help nurture those for you.